ya. Last time you saw me, I was in South Carolina. Now I'm back in PA. I'm actually back in college. Junior year. <laughs> We're doing a really fun video. I've had this planned literally since June. And I have been racking up these special things for you. You'll see in just a second. I'll just tell you. I'll just tell you. I know, I know you can't control your excitement. I'll just tell you. I'm doing a thrift flip video. I have all my goodies. So we got super fabric adhesive. I got fun paint, paint brushes. Whoops. And then I have some, what the heck is this? Oh, elastic. Now I know what you're thinking. What could I possibly be doing with this? Hold your horses, folks. We're gonna be making some cute clothes. This is my most recent DIY. I cut this. How cute is this? Hawkeyes? I don't even know what that means, but it's cute. As I said, I've been playing this video for a while, so I actually filmed part of it. I was trying all these on so you guys can see. And also, comment down below if you can find a difference with my appearance a month ago from now. I'll give you a hint. <laughs> So we're gonna get started here with the cuttings. You're gonna need some shears, a pen, and basically I'm just gonna be following the lines of the shirt and just cutting like that. Um, you know, just try your best, that's what I did. And yeah, so on to the next. I've been using that ruler to just kind of give me a straight line. So I'm gonna do it throughout all of these and just kind of crop them. This is like self-explanatory and this one's a little crooked just ignore it all right it's fine everything's fine um yeah so i'm just doing it all throughout the rest of these little shirts as you can see and it'll probably just need a pen or a colored pencil depending on the colored shirt so either works so i would just try one of those Okay, so I'm literally just treating this dress as it's like a shirt that I'm cropping. So I'm just kind of cutting and hoping for the best. <laughs> and then for the shorts, um, I just kind of fold them together and cut each leg. Um, I feel like that's just easier than cutting two legs. So there's not really any technique to this. I just kind of uh, pull out the pockets and then find like where the crotch area, what, I don't even know what that's called. But I just kind of do that. And then as you can see, I do it for the jeans as well. Um, I kind of go on a slant for the jeans just to give it like a high-waisted look, even though they're kind of not. But yeah, so I'm just drawing a line and cutting in a slanted-ish angle, you know, whatever, whatever you think is best. And then for this, I'm just going to keep cropping these as well.
for the starry jeans i literally just took a pen i didn't get to record this part but i just took a pen and just traced where i wanted the stars and then i made like the stars that how everyone make in elementary school with like the crossing of the lines and then i did that same technique with the white paint to color it all in just to make sure that i got like every line and it was all like perfectly white and ready to go okay so for the villa sweatshirt that we're going to be making you need an elastic so <laughs> Just take it around your waist, just so you can like make sure it fits around you. Okay, so for this sweatshirt, I'm just taking the elastic that I used to measure my waist with the adhesive, and then I'm just kind of using the elastic as a ruler, just to get a straight line. And it was probably about an inch to inch and a half that I'm just cropping up. So I'm gonna glue that together, hold it down, and it does need to set for a couple of hours. So this is like filmed within a couple of hours but to let it dry so i'm just gonna do it to the back as well and then the the fold will actually like fold up into the back so it's like you don't really need to measure this part you can just use the front as your guide and it'll all work out evenly just make sure you leave a little piece that i left in the corner there um open so we can stick the elastic through once it's all dried like we're doing here and then for this part, you're literally just guiding the elastic through. So what I did is I uh, snipped a little hole in each end of the elastic. I put a bobby pin through each of the holes and then I just kind of guided it through. I don't really know how to explain it, but you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just doing that just to give it that cinched look. And then just to make sure, uh, make sure you hold the other end as well. So it doesn't get like pulled through as you're pulling the other end through because that happened to me and it wasn't fun because I had to find it and we're not trying to find it so make sure you do that and then to put it all together I'm just taking both ends of the elastic please ignore my freaking big head I don't know what I was doing but I just took each end and I started sewing it together uh it's pretty self-explanatory um you could also glue it but I just wanted it to be secure and then I'm just tying the thread in a knot here just a lot of times to make sure it's secure. And then here's the start of our champion sweatshirt. So literally just doing the same thing, using the elastic as a guide to fold up and crop it a little bit. As I said, when you're cutting these sweatshirts, make sure you leave a little extra room because you're going to be folding it up. So you don't want it to be too short. So just do this. Make sure you leave a little hole open so we can put the elastic through. And then here, as I said, this is optional, but just the needle and the thread that I'm using to sew the two elastics shut. Uh, you could also use the glue, but I just like to make sure it's nice and secure. And then freaking after this, we are done. So I just finished basically everything. I'm gonna give you a little runway again, because why the heck not? Cue freaking fashion show. Ready, set, go. We'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays. And on and on, we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways. And on and on, we'll go. enjoyed this video i hope you guys go to your local goodwill and get some of this fun stuff you can literally make a whole new wardrobe out of like goodwill clothes and like it could look from like brandy melville urban outfitters forever 21 like you can make anything look the way you want it to and if you i'm like so deep right now you can make any garment that you want it to look like but you can also make your life 
the way you want it to look like. Like, why would you, it just, oh my god, I'm about to go off and I can't because this is going to be like a 30 minute video. I want to start my videos kind of being a positive kind of thing, so I want to say something positive in each video that you guys can take away from it. Instead of just taking away, oh, you can flip clothes into something really cool for cheap, like, yeah, that's cool, and like you can get ideas out of that, but I also want to leave like a mark on your heart. <laughs> so for this video, I want to just say something simple. Be kind. It's really not hard. I just think being kind is the number one rule in living. There's no reason for people to be mean. So just be kind. Be kind and smile. That's what I want you guys to take out of this video for this week. I have a bunch of other ideas that I want to get up soon. I'm going to get on a schedule for uploading. Comment down below like any ideas you want me to do, like what day you want me to upload, what you want me to talk about. I just want to inspire you guys. And you guys are all my friends. Like, I'm just so happy. I can't but i really hope you guys like this video i hope you found it helpful and if you like it please like it please subscribe stick around i just want to say i'm really grateful for all my subscribers already there's like 225 of you guys and like i'm sure like bigger youtubers are like oh like 225 that's not a lot but to me that like 225 i don't even know 225 people Ah, I probably do. That's just so cool, and I'm just so grateful. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Stay positive, be kind, and keep smiling. Okay, bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Everything.